Hey everyone, and welcome to a new series I've decided to call Paltry Programming. In these videos, I'll go over small topics that can be covered quickly and with much less effort than my main series videos. Today's topic is Chaikin Curves, or more formally, Chaikin's Algorithm for Curves. Back in the 70s, several researchers were working on generating curves, the most famous of whom is Pierre Bézier, who is credited with the creation of the Bézier curve, which I'm sure you've heard of as it's kind of used everywhere. Now, Bézier curves are a little complicated, so our homie George Chaikin came out with his own curve generating algorithm that is much simpler but also worse in pretty much every way. Let's say you have a path defined by four points. If, for each pair of points, we create two new points that are taken at a ratio of 1 4th and 3 4 between the end points of the line, we will effectively cut the corners off of the path. Chaikin's idea was that if we repeat this process several times using the newly produced points in place of the old, we will have an acceptable curve. Chaikin was obviously right, as demonstrated here, the circles represent the newly created points after each iteration of his algorithm, and as you can see, the limit approaches a perfect curve. Now, this is the part where I'd talk about applications of whatever I'm talking about in the video, but Chaikin curves are so heavily mogged by Bezier curves that they essentially have no application anywhere in the real world aside from niche generative art. But it turns out I'm a generative artist myself, so I have put together a little animation using Chaikin's algorithm that takes advantage of the point data that it generates. To break the animation down, let's look at a single Chaikin curve and its original, unmodified path. Each path has a set amount of points along the path, in this case it is 7. I divide the canvas up into sevenths and generate a point in each part with some random offsets so it doesn't look too modular, which is why some points are not within their set boundaries. Additionally, there exists a point far above the top of the canvas and a point far below the bottom so that the path looks like it travels from top to bottom. After the path has been generated, Chaikin's algorithm is ran on the path a random amount of times and then a rectangle is drawn on top of the line in order to make it look like it's growing. The last part of this animation that actually takes advantage of Chaikin curves is the pulsating line segments. Since Chaikin's algorithm produces these, it becomes very easy to modify each individual line segment as it is being drawn, which is something you cannot do with Bezier curves. In this case, I am modifying the width of the line by the cosine of the time, plus the position of the line vertically. And just for fun, let's look at it when it uses the tangent to modify the width of the line, but it's a major epilepsy warning, so if you have that, please skip ahead to the time on screen. That looks great! This animation is entirely procedural and will never be the same twice. If you're interested in looking at it yourself, you can check the link in the description, but it's really slow performance-wise on mobile devices, so be sure to use your desktop computer or your laptop. Anyways, that's all folks. If you like this shorter style of video, please let me know and I'll be sure to make a few more. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. It helps with my ego, and please check out my other social media as well. I've got to go now, so have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.